hello guys we are back with our next uh, set of chapter it is algebraic structure it is the fourth unit of OU syllabus discrete mathematics okay we'll be going in depth in this chapter based on the problems I'll be mainly concentrating on the problems because the theory is really a bit complex when now uh, you'll be reading it you're gonna just get confused a lot okay guys I'll, I'll be helping you as much as I can so algebraic structure let S be a non-empty set if S is associated with one or more binary operation then it is called as an algebraic structure okay it is denoted by S comma F1 F2 F2 F3 F4 and so on up to Fn here S is a non-empty set and F1 F2 F3 are the binary functions they may be star multiplication division modulo plus or anything they might be but in this chapter we'll be mainly concentrating on addition and multiplication so according to us addition and multiplication are the only one for this chapter view we're gonna grow through like that so I'll be writing the general conditions all the possible general conditions in terms of that okay associative I think everyone know what is an associative law x plus y plus z is equals to x plus y plus z yep that I can everyone can prove that I hope so okay so next commutative commutative means x plus y is equals to y plus x yep that's so simple next identity x plus some constant e is equals to e the constant plus x is equals to x where e is a constant and addition identity is zero you can remember it or else in problems you will be you will be clearly seeing the seeing the difference okay don't worry if you are if you can remember it you can remember or there are only two identities one is 0 and one is 1 x plus 1 is equals to 1 plus x but it is not equals to x I hope everyone can know that when we will be inserting 0 that is the only situation where x plus 0 is equals to x that's the case so you can remember in any other way that's all up to you guys okay inverse x plus negation of x is equals to e where e is the identity I hope you got an idea this is also equals to 0 if it is 3 minus 3 is equals to 0 okay I hope everyone understood the addition properties now we will be going through the multiplication properties multiplication property associative again x star y star z is equals to x star y star z next commutative x star y is equals to y star x okay let me turn the page okay next next upon identity x star e2 is equals to e2 star x is equals to x Okay, this may be identity I think I have wrote it reverse just a second sorry okay that may be correct okay item potent okay let's go through it okay inverse will be something like this x star x power minus 1 is equals to e2 I think I forgot about this e2 item potent okay I have no idea about this so please avoid it guys I think I may misplaced it okay distributive distributive I think everyone knows this law this is a successful law for any kind of numbers and anything whatever you substitute you're gonna match the results guys I have just tried it many times x star y plus z is equals to x star y plus x star z it's really simple x plus y star z is equals to x plus y star x plus z really simple guys next cancellation property x star y is equals to x star z x x cancel y is equals to z okay guys I hope everyone got a small idea at least a bit of idea on what is an algebraic structure algebraic structure is nothing but it consists of a non-empty set with a binary operation that's it guys nothing more than that that is what an algebraic structure is I hope this video helps you to give a small or a basic idea on what is an algebraic structure thanks for watching guys